Desk, and I'm here today with Matt O'Dell, advisor to BottlePay, a Lightning wallet startup. Can you tell me a little bit about what it was you're intending when you guys made BottlePay? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. Um, I did not make BottlePay. Uh, Pete, who is uh, the co-founder and the brains behind the operation, uh, basically envisioned a very easy to use Lightning wallet mm -hmm. uh, that is accessible, that is easy to pay people with. Um, one of the issues that a lot of people who have used Lightning have, have noticed is that the invoice system is kind of cumbersome. Yeah. So the idea here is that we could link social accounts um, to a Lightning wallet so that you can pay someone with their known, I, I, their known ID. Basically, it's like when we live on the internet now, our identification is our Twitter username or our Telegram username. Um, so now you can pay anyone who is on one of the supported platforms. Yeah, so it looks like if I've got this in-browser app, some of the things I can hook it up with are Instagram, Telegram, Twitter, and if I just use any of these, I used it on my Telegram, um, it's pretty easy. I just press approve, and you can send me stuff, right? Like, I think I found you just by typing in your Twitter handle. And so here I would just type in the amount of sats tiny, tiny amounts of Bitcoin that I want to send you and just press submit. Because right? there be no invoice necessary. And with this, with the social send, um, the user doesn't even have to be set up on Bottle Pay yet. Mm -hmm. If they're not set up, um, they have seven days to claim the funds. And if they don't at that point, it goes back to the sender. So with Twitter, you actually get notified. The recipient gets notified you have seven days. Mm -hmm. um, the other platforms, uh, pretty much, uh, maybe Telegram allows us to do it, but most of the other platforms don't allow us to notify the person. So after you send it to them, you would you would have to. You so would have when to you did it on Telegram, it told me that I had to log in to claim them. So I just pressed the confirm to log in, and it logged me in. Can you tell me a little bit about? I think you sent me some. It has a as a gift. Is that a new feature coming up? What's that about? Right. So one of our issues is that. A lot of these companies have locked down their APIs, mm -hmm. um, which limits our ability to actually send within the app. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the dream is is to be able to instead of using something like Libra on mm -hmm. Facebook, is to be able to use Sats and to kind of end around their restrictions. Same with like WhatsApp and I Instagram, their whole portfolio. Um, so the idea here is is that we're rolling out a new feature in the next week, um, which I, I showed. I mm -hmm. just showed you the demo of. Uh, with testnet sats, uh, and the idea is that we can send a link. Any link, uh, any anything that allows you to send a link, we can just send you a link. When you click the link, it says you have this gift. We have this nice splash screen that you know explains that you have a gift and the sats and how much big, how much uh, dollars worth it is at the time. And they just press redeem and they get it right into their bottle lightning wallet. Um, yeah. So let's see. You put it in my Telegram. It was just a straight up link. Yeah. And then I click on it, and boom! This is fake money, but it's really fun that it tells me right away that I have it and I just log in to redeem and that's it. And I click on my telegram and it connects me up. Exactly. So what else is on the horizon for you guys at Bottle Pay by maybe 2020, the rest of the year? So the idea is right now we have, um, if you log in through mobile, mm -hmm. um, you have basically a full Lightning wallet. It is, it is custodial right now, but you have a full Lightning wallet in your browser. You can scan and pay any Lightning invoice uh, directly from your phone's browser um, on the go. You know, you want to buy a coffee with, mm -hmm. with Bitcoin. Um, the, I, the future plan is to make this, and we have an extension, but the future plan is to make this a mobile first uh, Lightning wallet. And you're going to have a full Lightning wallet on your phone, mobile app, everything. And then we're also rolling out a developer API, so it'll be easy for developers to add Bottle Pay integration to their apps, so they can pay out to their users um, seamlessly without invoices or anything like that. Cool. So we have an app coming by 2020, sometime in December, so that I could download an app to do everything that we were doing here on right. my desktop, also from my phone. And in terms of API, I point to like so many things that you can mean when you talk about that. Can you show me and, and walk me through this example of what a developer could do with the API? So we have this guy uh, who really loves bottle pay. He's a pretty good developer. Yeah, yeah. uh, Crypto.com, mm -hmm. uh, that's with a K. And he released this app, BitAlarm. So our, we actually just released uh, our API today. Mm -hmm. um, but 
he was helping test it ahead of time. So mm. this app is like a proof of concept for us, and it's a it's an alarm clock. Uh, and if you snooze, you get to pick. You lose a sat per second if you snooze, and you pick who your recipient is. And instead of using invoices or anything like that, you just put in their uh, their bottle information. So you could even do like a charity, something like Tour Project has their bottle pay enabled, um, and you can just every time you snooze, you can donate to Tour. So when you release that developer API, it basically means people can use all different kinds of tools that would automatically hook up to their Lightning wallets that would pay um, without them needing to do individual invoices. Yeah, basically the developer wouldn't have to do any of the, the Lightning payment element. Awesome, okay. So I have, I guess, one more question. I can see how receiving money through this is really, really easy, especially if you're someone who's never set up a wallet before. How do I get my Bitcoin onto this if I want to send it? Um, so right now you have to do a lightning transaction in, um, or someone sends you lightning Bitcoin. So someone um, either sends me Bitcoin, or I basically make an invoice for myself through Bottle Pay, right. and then send it from my other wallet to right. the Right, you can make action. an invoice either on the mobile browser, or you can make an invoice on the desktop browser, um, and then you can pay that invoice. So you can use something like SparkSwap. Mm. Um, which goes straight fiat to Lightning. You can go right into your Bottle Pay account because SparkSwap just added uh, invoice payments. Mm -hmm. um, you just paste your invoice in there and it'll go right into Bottle. Um, and then there's, you know, I love the Breeze wallet, which is a non custodial uh, Lightning wallet mm -hmm. on mobile. Mm -hmm. You could send on chain Bitcoin to your Breeze wallet and then you can fund it, uh, fund your Bottle Pay account through that. Or any, if you just run any Lightning wallet, you can fund it through, through that Lightning wallet. But we don't, we don't actually provide the route from the on-chain to, to Lightning. Gotcha. That makes sense. So I'm sure I'm not the first person to test this. Um, do you have any idea in general how many users have been experimenting so far with Bottle Pay? Right now, there's a little bit over 10,000 users. and That's intense. They have like two and a half wallets each. So there's like, there's like 25,000 wallets uh, and 10,000 users because each social media account they link ev is an independent wallet. Even so like custodial. if I linked up both my Telegram and my Twitter, that would basically like ha be having two wallets. But someone could search me on either platform right. and send me money like this. Yeah, and it's a combined balance anyway. So nice. uh, to the user, it's really, I guess, one wallet. But 10,000 users, it's been pretty good on Twitter specifically. Because on Twitter, we put inline payments where you can just reply to someone and you just reply at bottle pay, however many sats you want to send, and it just automatically sends sats to their Twitter-connected Bottle Pay account, whether or not they have uh, it set up or not. Gotcha. What do you hope to see for the Lightning Network and the ecosystem in general in 2020, now that we have some of these more consumer-facing apps? You know, I might be one of the exceptions because I was, this time last year, I was extremely bearish on Lightning. Really? Um, yeah, I did it. I, I just, I couldn't wrap my head around it. I really didn't think it was going to work. Mm -hmm. um, and I like dove in head first like around January mm -hmm. and then we had like the whole lightning torch and everything mm -hmm. um, with Jack Dorsey accepting the lightning torch <laughs> in February and I so I've been running my own notes since and now I'm like way more optimistic uh, I think I think it's very promising we're gonna see more mobile apps I think I think mobile first is like a very um, accessible way for people to get into Lightning. Mm -hmm. I love seeing all these, um, you know, we have like the Casa node, we have the Noddle. Um, I know the team at, at Bitbox is, is they're gonna release one too, uh, the My node. Uh, all these home nodes I think are really cool and they're great for uh, like greater enthusi enthusiasts, like mm -hmm. uh, people that are actually like like major league Bitcoiners. <laughs> but uh, the average user, the apps are where it's at, right? They already have yeah. a phone, it's almost always connected to the internet already. Mm -hmm. um, and we're seeing services like Breeze um, really you know, ma make that process a lot easier. Yeah, so when I was using Lightning Invoices, one of my biggest problems is they would expire pretty quickly. Right. So if I send someone this link, how long until that invoice inspire, expires? Uh, so specifically the SAT pack, which is that mm -hmm. gift link that we send, uh -huh. uh, is a seven day ex expiry. Seven days is so long. Yeah, that's great. And like you're sending it to them like in WhatsApp or in Telegram or whatever. Um, that's to send them, not to receive, right? Right. So if I want, if I'm sending them like a request for oh, money, oh, like a request invoice. Yeah. I'm actually not sure how long that invoice is. Okay, so we know it's seven if I send, and I guess like we'll have to experiment once that app goes live and see how long it is. 
No, um, my guess is it's probably 24 hours, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. I mean, 24 hours. The ones I was making would only last an hour, so 24 hours would be a huge improvement on that. My my experience with this is it's mostly um, funding the wallet, yeah. right? Because then once, like, if once you're in Bottle Pay, you can just yeah. use Social Send. You don't need to use invoices. Um, so this is I I view this more as like a funding the funding mechanism, right? Yeah. So once you're in Bottle Pay, like I can just be texting like my friends. Yeah, you could, like you said, you can just look me up on Twitter mm -hmm. with, with my Twitter handle, and you can just pay me right through there. I don't even have to send you an invoice. Mm -hmm. It skips that step. Nice. Awesome. Is there any other thought that you think is really important for us to know, either about the app or about the Lightning Network in general? I, I think that uh, people have a tendency to get their hi their expectations really high and expect <laughs> things to happen, like, overnight. No. Um, but this, this space moves a lot quicker than than people give it credit for. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to have like a little patience. I think uh, I think we'll get there, and I'm like pretty optimistic on the future. Yeah, I think patience and measured expectations. People can have a lot of fun with exactly. these apps. Thank you so much for joining us today, Matt. Thanks for having me.